that was where they saw these believers and they said that these ones are christ-like they, that means they are behaving like christ that was where that name christians came from it was not a nickname it was not a title they earned it through service amen all right now now knowing a true christian or a man of god is not rocket science it's not such a hard thing to do because the bible said concerning jesus that he went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil sorry it's like you didn't hear what i just said the bible said jesus went about doing and healing all those that were oppressed of the does that remind you of anybody can you put your hands together for father for daddy i said i had to say these things because you know some of us just gloss over it i had to do an instagram post some weeks back and i had to ask a question after daddy passed on because i was seeing so many comments i was seeing so many people saying some stupid things i'm very sorry i'm a bit emotional right now and i asked that was tb joshua a man of the devil because a lot of people were saying that he was not a man of god and i was like was he a man of the devil and i was like okay so what exactly did he spend his life doing because as far as i'm concerned if i'm looking at nigeria right now i'm sorry a lot of people are going to get offended with what i'm going to say i don't care if we're looking at nigeria right now the church in nigeria if you tell me to point out one person that is living pra practicing ministry like jesus himself the templates that jesus himself set it is not record science i'm not saying it to make anybody feel good you know the truth i'm not telling you anything that you don't know already and i thank god that i'm i'm fine i'm a, I'm a member of this house now praise god but i'm also speaking as a non-member if you know what i mean so i'm not just saying it because i'm a member of the synagogue i'm saying it because it is the truth this is a i'm sorry i said mommy i said something when i when i saw the video of uh, i think it was pastor biara when he came to visit you and i said and i saw the living room of daddy and i was like ah, this is Pastor T.B. Josiah's living room. Okay, let me not say what I said after that. <laughs> but we have men of God who invest all of their resources in building mansions, in buying expensive cars, in dressing in designer clothes, and they will still come on the pulpit and say, look at this shoe I'm wearing, is $10,000. <laughs> and these men of God have the audacity to be saying that this man was not a man of God. I am not surprised. Listen, let me tell you something. I did not come here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua, and I'm so I will speak the mind of my colleagues as well. We are not here to mourn Pastor Joshua. We are here to mourn a nation who did not know the jewels she had within her grasp until she lost it. We are not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. We are here to mourn the many that he touched, the many that he supported, the many that he built up spiritually, financially, who turned out to be the ones to tarnish his image. I am not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. I am here to mourn the church who could not see beyond their envy and beyond their spite to learn humaneness, humility, true Christianity and true service from this humble man of faith. Those are the people I am here to mourn. Listen, more importantly, I came here to celebrate and to thank every one of you who are seated here. You guys do not know how blessed how privileged you were listen the bible said one thing that it was after jesus died and the veil of the te in the temple covering the holy of holies was torn into two that was when those who had planned to kill him knew the error they had committed and they said that if they had not they would not have killed the lord of glory it is after the passing of daddy that all those people by the time they sit and hear the works that this man has done will regret and wish they had not criticized and vilified this man of faith god bless you and god bless the church thank you very much thank you very much brother Femi branch god bless you thank you please if you want to put your hands together for jesus celebrate jesus for the life of prophet tb joshua he said something that got to me that jesus went about doing good and healing those that are oppressed of the devil
Everywhere you went. I remember, sir. I was living in Ikotuegbe many years ago when I came from Worry. I was living here. And as a young man, I came to Lagos to look for a better life. To hustle. I heard there is a church here that is feeding people for free. I called my friend Chike. If we sit down, you're hungry, go kill us. You know where the church is? It says it's not far. We can trek it. We trek from Oster bus stop, if you're familiar with this area, down to synagogue here. When I came here, I saw everybody, every tribe, all religions, here, seated, and they were giving their food. I was waiting for the man of God to say, don't give these people, they are not Christians, or don't give these people, they are not from my church. Everybody ate. Me, myself, I shop. <laughs> we had fun. It feel like this is how Christianity should be. This is how church should be. If Jesus was still here with us, this is what he wants us to do. Please celebrate a man of God that does not discriminate. You see, you started making me nod the way the band was nodding so many years ago. But ladies and gentlemen, we're celebrating a man of God. We're celebrating a prophet, a teacher, a healer. We're celebrating a man doing, that did great and mighty deeds for God Almighty. We're celebrating a father. We're celebrating a mentor. We're celebrating someone who was truly Christ-like. Somebody once said, nobody really dies if remembered. They live in our hearts forever. I pray that you continue to allow the man of God live in your heart. And I pray that you continue to emulate and do that which he did when he was with us. Which was doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Tell your neighbor, doing good. Doing good. Doing good. And fighting the kingdom of darkness. Sir, before you recognize this dignity, I want to say something. On Saturday, I was, um, I was at an event. It was a business summit. So, the owner of the company saw me and was like, oh, I was even planning to meet man of God, you know, before he's called to glory. Uh, but I heard so many things. I said, what? He said, my brother, don't mind what people were saying. And I said something to him. I said, sir, you are a big man. Right? He said, yes. I said, I want to tell you this thing. Now, every day, now I be big man naming ceremony. People will give you names that does not belong to you every day. Why? Because you are doing well. Why? Because you are successful. Why? Because you are doing the right thing. Where you are wicked, they will call you wicked. Where you are doing good, they will say, who knows what they use the good they do. Please celebrate this great man of God once more. Prophet T.B. Joshua, for all his deeds. My brother, Casey, what is it about that letter? J. You know one thing, eh? I said God is particular about names. God is particular about names. And if you want to follow me truly, I will take you through the journey of the Bible a bit. I'm not really a Bible student. But the Bible says after the death of Moses, when God needs somebody to take the children of Israelite to the promised land, he brought Joshua. J. Hey. When he needed somebody to save David from the hand of the king, he brought the last born of the king, Jonathan. J. J. When God needed somebody to have the first political by, uh, uh, party in the Bible, he brought somebody that owns this party in the Bible, PPP. Pete to Potiphar's house to Prime Minister, Joseph J. J. When God needed a man to save the whole world from condemnation, he brought his son, Jesus Christ, J, J. from the father, Joseph, J. J, from the offspring of Jesse, J. J, when he was to be land, he landed in a place called Jerusalem, J. J. When God needed somebody to baptize him, he brought Jude, uh, John the Baptist, J, in the river Jordan, J. J. Everywhere God needed a man to betray him, he brought Judas that eats carrot, J. J. And when God needed a general in our time to lead his people from bondage, he brought TB, Joshua, J. So this is why... Please put your hands together for the man of God. So this is why I told um, Casey backstage that henceforth, when he sees me, he should call me Jenga. 
I'm no longer Benga. Please, what is my name? God be with you. Jay, Jay, how did Jay? Uh, sorry, let's do that again. What's my name? Jay. Jay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please consider to hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, so you will know anytime we put video here. I remember your sister, your friend, your girl, your picky. Anyone you call me, I did it for you to dress bright life with lady. See you on our next video. Ciao, ciao. If there is anything that is bothering you, my friend, please say it so others will learn. Bring it to true dreams with Lady T. And God will be your strength. Bring it to true dreams with Lady T. And God will see you true.